carburetor. In this video I will be explaining about carburetor. The function of the carburetor is to produce combustible air fuel mixture, by mixing the proper amount of fuel with air, as per the engine load requirement, before supplying charge to the engine cylinder. A simple carburetor, mainly consists of following things. Float chamber. Fluid discharge nozzle. Metering orifice. Venturi. Throttle valve. And, choke valve. Before venturi, there is a filter, which filters out all the incoming impurities coming with air, into the carburetor. The function of the float in the niddle valve system is, to maintain constant level of gasoline in the float chamber. If the amount of fuel in the float chamber falls below the designed level, the float goes down, thereby opening the fuel supply valve and admitting more fuel. When the designed level of fuel is reached, the float closes the fuel supply valve, thus stopping the additional fuel supply from the system. The float chamber is vented either to the atmosphere or to the upstream side of the venturi. This will keep the float chamber at atmospheric pressure. During suction stroke, air is drawn into the venturi, which has minimum cross-sectional area at the throat. As the air passes through the venturi, the velocity of the air increases to maximum at venturi throat. As the velocity increases, the pressure at venturi throat decreases and become lower than the pressure inside the float chamber. Atmospheric pressure inside the float chamber pushes the fuel, causing it to rush through the metering orifice and comes into the venturi throat from the fuel discharge nozzle. Since the opening of the fuel discharge nozzle is small, as the fuel comes out of the discharge nozzle, it atomizes and mixes with air, making uniformly mixed air fuel mixture. This air fuel mixture, which is also known as charge, is fed into engine cylinder. The pressure difference between the float chamber and the throat of venturi is known as carburetor depression. To avoid overflow of the fuel through the jet, the level of the fuel inside the float chamber is maintained at a level which is slightly below the tip of the fuel discharge nozzle. The gasoline engine is quantity governed, which means, when power output is to be varied, at a particular speed, the amount of charge delivered to the engine cylinder is varied. This is achieved by means of a throttle valve, usually of butterfly type, which is situated after the venturi tube. If the throttle valve is fully closed, no air will flow through the venturi, in this case, the idler air bleed will supply sufficient air fuel mixture, so that the engine is idling. Idling means, to keep the engine in running condition, when the vehicle is not in motion. If the throttle valve is partially open, less air will flow through the venturi. Thus less air flow will produce less pressure drop, which in turn causes, lesser fuel to discharge through the discharge nozzle, and hence less air fuel mixture is delivered to the engine cylinder. Therefore, the power output of the engine is reduced. If the throttle valve is open fully, more air will flow through the venturi. Thus, more air causes more pressure drop in the venturi region, which in turn causes, more fuel to discharge through the discharge nozzle, and hence more air fuel mixture is delivered to the engine cylinder. Therefore, the power output of the engine is increased. You can also see another butterfly valve is provided before the venturi tube. This is called choke valve. The function of the choke valve is to choke or block the air fuel supply, causing very less quantity of air to pass through it. During the suction stroke, there is a partial vacuum in this region. Since air supply is choked or blocked partially, this will cause less air and more fuel to be drawn in thus producing fuel-rich air-fuel mixture. Choke valve is very helpful during cold starting of the engine, since we all know, during cold weather, the engine usually do not start. This is because of lower temperature, due to which, the fuel do not vaporizes and mixes with air, to give uniform mixture. In this case we close the choke valve, to provide more fuel and less air to the engine cylinder. Thus, supplying fuel-rich mixture, and helping in starting of the engine during cold weather. This is how theoretically a carburetor works. I hope you have understood the construction and working of the carburetor. If you like this video please click on the like button, and if you are new to ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button to get more latest educational videos. Also don't forget to comment your opinion about this video in the comment section below.